Hi everyone, I'm Guillaume uh, from the Backyard World Project and um, uh, this video is a quick tutorial um, to explain to you the basics of the site. Uh, I've been using it um, for six months uh, and uh, I just want to show you my method of uh, checking objects. Okay, so I'm not an uh, English native speaker so uh, maybe I will uh, hesitate on some, uh, some words. Okay. Let's begin. Um, suppose you have a, you are on the on the site and you see something uh, interesting. Um, you see a dipole. Okay, so um, what you can do, I uh, my recommendation is not to click uh, right away on the, the information button because if you misclick, you uh, you risk to lose your subject. So you better click. Click uh, on done and then talk. And then you are on the on the page, and you can see here that uh, your subject here is uh, secured. Uh, it will be in your history, your browser history. Okay. So um, let's uh, let's take this subject as an example. Okay. So you analyze the flipbook and uh, what you can see, you can see that there's a lot of objects uh, that are dance with dancing uh, around. They are um, shining in all directions. And uh, where are the dipoles? The dipoles, we can see one dipole here. Okay, first one, two, three, four. And there is another one here. Okay, this is what we are looking for, dipoles. Okay, so it's quite rare, two dipoles on the same uh, subject. So, first step, okay, this is moving. What dipoles are moving objects, moving infrared objects? Uh, first question, is it known or unknown? So, you go to the information button, first step in Simbad. So, you open Simbad. What we can see, uh, okay, we see that this is regular stars, star, star, PM star. So this is a high proper motion star, okay? You click on the on here, you can see high proper motion star. So that means that this, um, there is a, a known object, a moving object uh, in the flipbook. If you check the coordinates here, okay, you uh, can see that this corresponds to this dipole. Okay, so this one we can forget it. There's no need. Uh, you, you you must not report it because it's known. But what about this one? This one is not in Simbad. Okay, there is no other proper motion star, no object. So this is getting interesting. Um, because we found a moving object that is not listed and is, that is unknown. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do then? But first, you can open a form because probably you're you're gonna you're gonna fill it. Um, but we can go a little further. Um, we would like to have the precise coordinates. So here you can see you, you are, there's no easy way to, to have it. So step two, we go to the finding shark, IRSA. Okay, what is this thing? Here you have um, the same image taken in different times, different dates, and different spectrum, different bands. DSS is optical band, blue band, red band, and infrared, it's, yeah, some sort of infrared. Two mass, two mass is infrared, and this is what is interesting, is WISE, because WISE is clearly infrared. Infrared, that means that every object you see on the flipbook here, every object will appear here. So uh, we can try to spot our dipole, our dipole here. It's right in the upper right corner. 
Do we see something here? Yes, this is the one. Here is here. So, how to get the coordinates? Here's the thing. You can go to here, lock by click. Okay, you click on it. Now the coordinates you see are locked, uh, but it, it's in a sexadecimal coordinate, so you have to click here, select decimal, and you have your coordinates. So this is uh, very important because you have very precise coordinates that you can copy paste everywhere. For example, you can copy in, uh, in the form. This is what I do. Okay, this is first the RA, the RA and then declision degree. So if we want to co continue filling the form, we can click it in the right corner, it's a dipole, it's white. How bright is it? Okay, I say it's two, okay. Um, what bands does uh, the source appear? Okay. Let's go back to this. We can see that it's uh, visible. You see the pink, the pink circle. We have our object in every optical band. It's very faint, and you can see that uh, here it's. Uh, oh, sorry for the the arrows. Here it's in a uh, in the center of the the. Um, of the the pink circle in 2010 and when you go when you go back to 1955 you see that it's not quite in the same position that proves that the object has been moving okay it's a, it's another sign you can uh, you can have so our object is visible in all DSS in two mass well no we don't uh, we don't have it and uh, Y is 1, Y is 2. Okay, so you will fill all the... This one is SDSS. There is no... no two mass, no. Okay. Email address. Okay, you can fill it. Here you can copy-paste again your coordinates. This... Um, the two mass always color. Maybe I will do another video to explain to you uh, a little further. Um, uh, in the next video. Okay, so, okay, that's cool. So, you can fill your uh, zoo ID, um, and that's it. That's it. You have uh, submitted a dipole. Now, you have, there is, there are other sites you can use, such a pretty cool site, Aladdin Lights. What's this? It's um, you can have, you see the the view of the sky in different bands. You see DSS, two mass, always. Okay, so take your coordinates and you plug in. Okay, we uh, go directly to DSS and you zoom in. Okay, maybe I think this is our object. Okay. So, okay, we go directly to 2 mass, which is infrared. Oh, you see that the object has moved. And what about all wise? Okay, this is a little blurry. It's a, that's a optical uh, diffraction. And you see that the object is not in the same position. DSS, remember, it's old. It's uh, 20, maybe 20 years uh, ago. To mass, it's uh, 2000 and 2003, and otherwise, it's 2000 and 2010. Okay, so this is a this is pretty cool. Another site, uh, another page you can use uh, is this one. I will uh, put the link in the description below. Uh, this is a tool, a great, great tool uh, made by. Um, Dan, uh, which is a uh, Dan Kanelsen, who's a, a hunter in the Backyard World project, and uh, he made this uh, very cool tool where you can plug the coordinates and uh, you can check. Okay, you can check. Maybe 
maybe it's not the okay it's not the right example <laughs> the right example because we don't see uh, we don't see clearly moving okay this site um, this um, show you infrared views of the same coordinates in different time always neo 1 neo 2 okay it's a, a few years um, a few years uh, in between every every frame but it's a um, it's a good tool to check motion okay for this subject we we don't care because we we already know it's a clear dipole though, so it's it's moving okay it, you, you have to submit uh, objects that are moving the, the motion of the object can, can be checked on the flipbook okay it can be checked otherwise uh, here you can uh, you can see a positional shift uh, in the position uh, using the the pink circle lock by click okay or you can uh, simply go to Aladdin and uh, you can check that uh, your object has moved between this time and this time okay so um, one other thing is uh, you see that uh, here the object in DSS the object is visible that means that the object is visible in optical bands but sometimes you can have other objects that are not in optical and only in all-wise infrared that's uh, that's interesting because um, the less objects are visible in optical band, the colder the brown dwarfs are. So, uh, and the colder, the coldest uh, the brown dwarfs are, the better it is, because uh, uh, this is what we are we are looking for. So, um, okay, uh, I think I'm done. Uh, I'm try. Uh, I'll try to do another video on uh, Vizier, Vizier, which is a which is a pretty tough site. Okay, you can see here um, it's a, a site that lists every um, every um, catalog and you can you plug coordinates and the site gives you how many objects are every objects that are on the on, at your coordinates so okay so you see that it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, not uh, Eye friendly, so uh, but it's um, it's long, so I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, make uh, another video of, uh, for that. So thank you very much. You can, um, uh, as I said on the on the the site and the, on the by mail, you can uh, you can show me um, you can send me uh, objects. Okay, your your subject if you want to have a to have a. Um, advice or something about uh, about it okay thank you very much